there welcome to my channel once again we want to give you an update about our uh, farms the hydroponic uh, systems especially uh, these vertical systems and we also want to talk about the uh, plant called uh, uh, pak choi and uh, uh, of course i've shared the videos about this so uh, today and tomorrow we are going to start planting we already have uh, seedlings here we have uh, seedlings of uh, uh, different types but uh, this is mainly uh, lettuce and then this is uh, pak choy i'm going to show you how this one uh, turns into a very big plant and then uh, we we have uh, what else do we have yeah, mainly those two and uh, uh, just to show you how they are performing having to go to the formula for the nutrients this is what you get from the other seedling uh, here you can see pak choy blossoming you can see this is very healthy uh, it's again because we discover that uh, once the roots are well aerated and they also we put a cloth here which enables it to pull water but even if you don't put a cloth still it will work this one doesn't look so healthy but it's also doing quite well but we added more nutrients so this yellowish part will change back to green so this is where we are uh, i discovered that pak uh, choy grows well in uh, in this uh, uh, cracker method uh, cr uh, cr because uh, you can see here in the pipes it is not it has not come out very well and we are trying to find out uh, 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 the, the reasons why so going into our mini farm we are going into our mini farm uh, uh, this is a mini farm. Uh, we have here lettuce. This lettuce is growing well. And then here we have pak choy. It's not growing well because the lettuce shouldn't share the same nutrients uh, with the pak choy in terms of P, uh, PPM. Uh, so you can see the nutrient is suitable for letters but actually is struggling even this one is letters and uh, the good uh, the good uh, the good growth is observed here you can see this is very good growth very strong growth i think this picture is almost ready for eating uh, you can see this is good this is good very good very strong very clean uh, clean 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 roots so that's how it is performing it means uh, the pakachoi this pakachoi is growing well so as i said once you don't understand the nutrients how to mix you will, uh, uh, you will not get these results you will end up having the your plants drying and uh, not working out and not uh, giving you uh, nice green uh, nice green uh, nice green roots this one is uh, losing uh, energy momentum it is because the water here is not enough so I will ask my farm manager to add water so again this actually needs some more nutrients basically we use this farm for purposes of demonstration uh, not really commercial this one is called kohlrabi uh, again it's showing good growth but i'm going to change this and put it in another system because the ppm for kohlrabi is way above the ppm for uh for letters so that's where we are and and as i said we are going to be planting uh more 
more stuff here the system will be on uh, soon uh, probably tomorrow and this side we have of course uh, we have uh, maybe we start with this side the geographer again we realize that uh, uh, well actually is struggling in this we uh, used uh, water bottles or soda bottles so uh, what grows well in this I'd recommend you grow uh, lettuce and then for pak choy you can see it blossoms well in pipes and these buckets so that is uh, what we have there and, uh, and this side uh, uh, this side here to, we're trying to make electrical wiring pick wire uh, power rather uh, from the house such that we can grow we can put water and grow we put in a uh, uh, letters we're going to put in letters let me pick some letters uh, that we are going to grow we're going to grow letters so we shall be growing letters here and uh, with this sponge to grow this letters we shall put here this letters like this and these cups attaching the bottom of these pipes this is a 38 a 38 a 38 plant system so it will be irrigated at intervals of five minutes every one hour and at midnight you don't need to really irrigate because it's always uh, 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 always not that hot so we we irrigate for uh, 13 hours every hour we do uh, five minutes are enough because again too much water is not enough even for humans when you take too much water it may not be good for you just take enough water so this is the system so my manager is trying to connect power and we turn it on today so we are going to plant here lady letters and then we put green then red green like that so that we make a pattern uh-huh Thank you. With that, uh, we can end here. These are the seedlings for our red letters. Uh, they're coming out. We've been making net cap holes, rather net cap, uh, net caps, not holes. These are net caps. We we'll put holes in here, and uh, we try to mimic the net caps uh, that are sold. On, uh, on 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 Amazon, on eBay, and the other shops. Uh, so, so it's very simple. You got you get a a, a metal, put it in, uh, on heat, and just make this. So we're trying to make this uh, any kind of container as long as plastic can be used. So this is a, a, a this was uh, this was a. A yogurt kind of uh, a container, and it's it, it, you want it, you can use it like 10 times. So, why, why go buy expensive net cups? Here we have, here we have, this is what we call kororabi. We are going to put it in its own system. This is kororabi, you can research about it. And uh, here we are trying to germinate a few, a few. Uh, plants, uh, yellow tomatoes, uh, germinate, trying to germinate a couple of uh, plants. You can see uh, these pipes uh, can do good, good uh, for this, can do good job for you. You see this is very very healthy and the roots are white and if the roots become, uh, they, 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 they rot, we, we apply what we call lactic acid. Uh, you can make lactic acid, lactic acid by yourself. You can research about lactic acid. Uh, it enables you to manage uh, the, the, the roots. 
so even here you can see the growth is very good but again when you see these leaves coming out a bit yellowish means the nutrient is lacking so with that i want to thank you for listening to me and please follow for more subscribe to my channel on youtube and uh, share my videos and uh, make comments uh don't forget to hit the notification button for more videos about hydroponics let's embrace the future of farming thank you bye have a nice weekend i'll post more videos explaining nutrients nutrients is the key thing nutrients uh, is the main factor behind the hydroponics if you're not going to get nutrients right you just waste time energy please nutrients nutrients so tune in to listen more about nutrients tomorrow there is a video about nutrients thank you very much bye for now